Only on NBC5 News, it's no secret it's hot in Southern Oregon and Northern California. And now with the flat fire growing, the region's largest of the season, it's a good time to talk air quality. NBC5's Marcus Veal tells us why it's important to stay on top of changing your air filters. AC units have been working overtime this July in the Rogue Valley. But when was the last time the air filter was changed in your home? Jeff Lentz of John Key Heating and Air Conditioning in Talent says the filter is the only thing that stops your air conditioner from getting dirty. This can cause a lot of problems with your cooling, uh, can make your system freeze over, uh, cause bigger problems with your blowers or anything like that. Uh, during fire season, it's important just because we're going to have a lot more particles in the air, so those filters are going to fill up faster. And as the growing flat fire continues to burn near the coast, medical experts say if the air quality index is above 100, it's not safe for sensitive groups. Even if you're perfectly healthy, even the smallest symptoms such as nasal congestion and teary eyes can lead to inflammation in your lungs. Um, so it's important that all individuals in the community are having this degree of awareness and preparedness so that when we are hitting summer months and concerns around forest fires that we sort of have an idea of what to do and who we need to protect within our homes that might be classified as sensitive. Dr. Jyothi Kanagalingam says even small fires can impact you longer than you might think. It's hard to tell when these things happen how long air pollutants can linger in the air for. The fire may go on for days, maybe weeks, but the air pollution can remain an issue for weeks to months at end. According to the American Lung Association, wildfire smoke can be extremely harmful to the lungs especially for children, older adults, and those with asthma, COPD, and bronchitis, or a chronic heart disease or diabetes. That's why both Dr. Kana and Lentz suggest changing your filters every three months in the summer. As an added bonus, Lentz says by changing your filters as recommended, you'll get more bang for your buck. Changing your filter regularly every three months is the best thing a homeowner can do to keep their system working great. Uh, if you don't do that and you don't change your filters very often, you're going to call us more often and it's going to cost you more money in the long run. Marcus Veal reporting, Dr. Kena says it's important for people at risk to smoke to pack a bag in case they need to escape the smoke just to be safe.